I'll be calling on our next uh, speaker who will be telling you more about uh, financial management. We understand that when businesses get into profit, you know, financial management is, is a key uh, drag. So I want to call on uh, the managing director, uh, Debnock Capital Limited, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Etienne who will be taking us on insights to reinvesting capital and financial management. I want to assure you that whether you are a registered business, uh, whether you are uh, already operating, uh, this is something that you require. Uh, you actually require, uh, you know, uh, financial management and how you can reinvest uh, your capital. I can see so many questions uh, coming in this direction. So over to you, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Essien, uh, the Managing Director of Debnock uh, Capital Limited. Please go ahead. Afternoon. Thank you, Andy. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, once again. Uh, my name is Emmanuel uh, Essien, as we said. Uh, Debnock Capital, what we do as part of our business uh, is actually to work with our SME uh, clients, small to medium enterprise, and make sure that we kind of help uh, where we can in terms of positioning uh, for capital acquisition uh, into, into businesses. Uh, in our region, we realize mostly, uh, most of the time is simply because there is no access uh, to capital. And uh, we realize also that sometimes the capital is actually waiting there. It's the business that is not really being presented in a way. However, today, uh, my assignment is simple. Uh, what I want to do today is just to simply help the small and medium enterprise in a way to say, okay, if I may uh, get new businesses to start or perhaps to get existing business to survive or to sustain, what do we need to do? So let me just quickly try and share uh, my slide as we, we speak right now. So while I'm, while I'm doing that, I wanna speak in, in Three area, in four areas precisely. Uh, the first one being that when you start a business, issue of capital becomes very key, and we all know that. However, how key is the business to you? And what are the things that are really required? So today, I want to go into four areas that could help us to say, okay, we're fixing. Can you see my slide there? Okay, cool. Better. All right. Thanks very much. So uh, as I was saying, uh, I'll be looking at one particular tool that we use in the finance space to help our businesses. Now, this is not just limited to small or medium. However, it's more crucial and important and even pertinent at this time due to what has happened in our economy. Uh, no thanks to the coronavirus pandemic lockdown to every business globally. Budget and cost control happens to be one thing that we as business owners, entrepreneurs need to give uh, keen attention to in this day and age. Perhaps you've been the type that normally whatever comes in is spent. You believe that's your running business. Uh, whatever you have access or excess is good. Uh, I think our legal uh, team, uh, Ms. Efe, actually indicated that why you need to have an entity incorporated so that you can have a separation between your personal finance and your uh, company finance. So, how do you budget? How do you cut cost in your, in your businesses? I want to speak in, in four areas precisely. Workspace management, your overhead, uh, your suppliers and creditors management, and logistics. These are the four areas that we believe and we've known established over time that actually affect small and medium enterprises even before they start. Workspace, do you really need to go and hire a big office? If your business requires that and you have the capital, by all means do so. However, even if you have the capital, can you work smartly in the business? Uh, you want to have some extra, you want to have cash flow, working capital. So why don't you consider co-location? Whether you are already in the business or you're about starting, co-location is you having a similar uh, or an environment where you can share office, maybe a four bedroom house, uh, three or four of you guys coming together. There is something called virtual office that is springing up uh, in Nigeria. I think Abuja and Lagos are really coming up with that. Sharing facilities in the place. You don't need to pay for everything uh, in the building. So you share that. Or virtual office that you just come in if you have meeting. You book the boardroom for the hours of the day. 
and you bring your clients or your customers to meet there for those hours. And the secretary in the virtual office receives calls for you and route it to your number. Or you can actually use your client office. These are ways you can actually save your cost in workspace management. Let's take, for instance, you're a graphic designer and you work with printers, you work with uh, uh, conglomerate to help them design their PR or marketing activities. You probably don't need uh, your own office until your business has grown enough and sufficiently. You can actually work from your client office as a consultant. You can put in your contract or negotiation with the client that two days in a week or three days, I will have to come to your office and use your office for uh, activities. Okay, so uh, setting yourself over for failure. So your overhead needs to be watched. Your labor cost, do you have to incur a full-time staff eight to, five, uh, eight, eight, eight to five activity on a daily basis? Or you can switch your business uh, to be on project basis. So when you need a project, that's when you put someone on the project. So they deliver based on project and not necessarily on eight to five. You, now, you, have, you can scale down on the number of staff you're going to put uh, at any point in time. Six synergy, integrate with similar businesses. Let me use the issue of the guy that is a printer or graphic design again. Who are the guys that are in your similar industry that you can share knowledge, you can share projects, you can share resources uh, from printing to desktop design to publishing. Can you come together and use the same resources that you are having and share that. So there is no need for me to hire my own set of team and this one hire their own set of team. You can go ahead and use all of them together. Also, your supplier or creditor as it's called in some incline. Uh, this is one way to indicate to the market that you're serious for business. Never, never keep your creditors in the dark, whatever happens. Make sure that you sit with your creditor, your supplier. That would determine the sustainability of your business. That would determine how far you can last in business. And your supplier could be as easy as your landlord. You don't know, your landlord has also gone through a fair share of what you are going through. Sitting to discuss with your landlord instead of increasing your rent, can actually understand. It's okay, you've been a fair client. The last five, seven years you've been with me. What do you want to do? It can actually split what you've been paying. And it's okay, until this thing comes over, until your business turns around, I'm going to understand with you. So you don't need to keep them in the dark. You don't need to run. Account payable versus receivable management. This is where you now pick your strategy. What have you been, at what time have you been receiving people that owe you money. How long do you give them the facility? And how long does it take you to pay those you are owing? So this is where you now begin to say, okay, if I collect money early from people that owe me and I can negotiate a delayed payment with people that I owe, trust me, 10, 15 days means a lot in your working capital for a small, medium enterprise. The 15 days could fall in the month end and you're able to take care of the salary uh, of your staff, the few ones that are available. Uh, logistics and communication, uh, which is the fourth one uh, I said I was gonna be uh, quick on this. Logistics and communication for a small and medium enterprise is very key. Why is it very key? Simply because before you step out, you need to ask your question, do I really, really need to be on the road? Assess the necessity of you going out. If you, are, if you don't necessarily have to go out, then you don't need to hit the road. Plan your days ahead, as it were. Plan it very well so that you know Tuesdays and Thursdays are probably the days that I need to go out. And if there's no need, I can walk my clients around that and say, this is the time I'm going to see you. And you make your deliverables to be around that too. However, there might be some time that you need to urgently go. Again, seek synergy in this place. You might be in an environment that you don't really have to go, but there is a shuttle, there's a courier, there's a deliverer that's around you that you can put it on their bike and say, give it to X address for me. And you make a phone call and say, oh, that thing has been delivered. Have you seen it? And all those kind of things. So you really, really don't have to 
uh, be on the road if, if you don't need to. Uh, and again, on that one is, if you really, really have to go, maybe on an emergency, uh, and let me put a disclaimer here as it were. Oh, sorry, my screen. So if you really, really have to uh, be on the road, uh, the right share services, uh, I think it's available to use. And uh, I, I do tell people that the, the model, the business model for sharing the right uh, wasn't necessarily for people to feel uh, the pleasure of owner's corner. Actually, it was meant uh, for people to share, to carpool, so that when you pull maybe two or three people sharing the fund, sharing the amount, the cost of the transport, However, because of the prevailing pandemic, it's still necessary for you to at least observe the protocol, stay at the back and let the guy uh, drive in the front. So what I'm saying here is, uh, and this is, let me put a disclaimer out here. I'm not paid to do this, but I think we found out in the course of trying to help some of our clients that companies like Bolt, which was taxified before, they have this, uh, what do I call it? They have this model, a business uh, accounts, uh, which I think you can find out from them as well, which they give to companies, which again goes back to the point that you registering your company, having an RC name or BN name helps you to take the benefit of this. Let me give you what happens there. Both will give you a business account. Of course, you're not, it's not compulsory, you use it right away, but it's there for you. You can shift between your private and your uh, account. So if you use your private, for instance, you pay immediately or you pay with cash or pay with card. But this service allows you to pay at the month end. They send you statement at the month end. So when they send you the statement at the month end, they give you 30 days again to be able to make the payment. So in essence, from the time you use the bold service to the time you pay, you have between 45 and 60 days to make that payment. You know, they give you a budget based on what you use. So if you're not going to use it, it's not for you to gallivant. It's for business purposes, remember. So if you use 10,000 within the month and you know that the 10,000 is coming within the next few days, then you use it because it's an emergency. It saves you uh, the embarrassment of not being able to deliver to your client when you have uh, the opportunity to deliver. So that's just another service. And finally, on the logistics and communication, also consider if you're using a postpaid Many people uh, don't know that the cost of prepaid and postpaid are wide and different. But let me emphasize again, I, I know there are, there, there, there are a few uh, of them, but I know again that we've tested. Uh, so uh, we've tested again with some of the telecoms in the course of trying to help our SME clients as well, trying to save the cost. Uh, using prepaid also gives you uh, options of subscription plan. And I think most of us on the platform here right now, we maybe know better than I do in, in those areas. I know Airtel, again, this is not a uh, paid service. I'm just saying what we've used. Uh, Airtel have a subscription plan whereby when you buy a particular airtime, you can punch some codes and convert that plan, uh, that uh, airtime to give you about five times, 500 percent. So let's say you buy 500 Naira and you can punch that code uh, plus whatever they call it and you have 2,500, but you have to use it within the month. It's for 30 days. And I'm saying for a small business, that's a good deal for you uh, because if you had used your 500 Naira, you will exhaust it again within the month. However, you convert that to 2005, that means you can call more. It's the same charges, uh, there's nothing different and you have more money to use. So in a nutshell, what I've, I've emphasized here is, uh, how do you look about your workspace management? These are the areas when you plan your budget, when you look at cutting costs uh, around your business, your workspace management. There are many other things you can consider for the sake of our time, that's why I'm pushing this uh, quickly out. Again, you look at, uh, overhead, do you have to incur uh, those staff strength? It doesn't matter whether your brother, your uncle, your niece. No, you don't have to. You look for skills and as we project base. And when you don't have any project to deliver, let it rest. And if you can use your client environment as well, why not? Uh, also, we, we talk about, uh, I mentioned the issue of your supplier and creditor management, which is key. And uh, lastly, I talk about this logistics and communication. Assess the necessity to be on the road. 
And that's very important to know, especially if your business is in Lagos. I think Lagos is another animal on its own compared to other parts of the, of, the, of the country. So if you don't have to be on the road and get stuck in traffic, please stay away and uh, do from home, do virtual meeting like we are doing right now. So it's very important and consider your communication tools. Uh, how do you uh, stay in touch in communication and elongate that uh, much more using the available tools? So in a nutshell, that's all I want to share this afternoon. I know there will be a couple of questions uh, because time wouldn't permit to deep dive into many things. But thanks for your attention. Thanks for listening. Uh, I can see that the screen was backing out or whatever. I'm sure this slide will be available uh, for FCMB to share online uh, on their app and uh, repository. So Andy, thanks very much and over to you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, for that uh, wonderful session. Uh, I want to apologize uh, for that uh, slide uh, that was off, uh, but I'll assure you as participants that uh, we'll share the slides uh, with you. So not to worry, uh, the slides will be made available to you. Uh, I want to assure you that uh, FCMB uh, is here to you know, support you as a, a business owner. Uh, so just to conclude, uh, I would like to call on uh, Mr. Oluremi Agbola, who is the head of SME Assets uh, to, to speak on our loan product. Uh, before then, uh, I would like to let you know that uh, we have uh, the FCMB business zone uh, currently displayed on your screen. Now, uh, we have so much uh, to offer in terms of partnership. Um, Mindsmith, uh, Oze, uh, Tribe CP, uh, Alpha Technologies, uh, that are solution-based uh, uh, platforms uh, that are on the FCMB business zone. Uh, these are our partners that can support your business. Uh, so I want you to uh, visit uh, the FCMB business zone. The FCMB business zone. Uh, to assess uh, different services on, on this uh, platform, uh, you, can, you can visit us on uh, www.businesszone.fcmb.com uh, uh, for us to get uh, some of your feedbacks. Uh, so I, I will, some of the questions also will be here listed on the business zone, uh, including the video and the slides. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, Mr. Oluremi Agbola is here uh, to take over from me on the loans uh, offered by uh, FCMB. Hello, Andy. Remy, you can go ahead. Oh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Olu Remy Agbola. I head the SME Asset Desk. Um, I'm here just to tell us that we have a facility we can give on collateralized loan up to 10 million Naira. Up to 10 million Naira without you having a collateral to present to us once you have a registered business and um, is, is a basically a cash flow in that field for since 2013 we started giving out that loan but we have taken it up to the next level now that you can have, have, apply for that loan if you have an fcmb account and you have the mobile banking you can even sit down in your house and do your application on your mobile bank banking platform on your uh, yes on your on your internet banking platform the mobile version will be ready very soon so that everybody can apply using their phones. So how does it work? What is quick loan? What is quick loan? Who is, who is eligible? And what is the loan meant for? Actually, the loan is meant for people that are into businesses that have um, people that are into businesses that can 
do a turnover over in their on their account month on month and a portion of their a calculation if calculated portion of their cash flow is being extended to them as a loan so if you have a fast moving business that you turn over your your cash your businesses your your, your funds on time you will be eligible for a quick loan so and um, now does i apply how do i apply for for a quick loan or what you just need to do is just as if you can have if you have an internet banking you can go to the internet banking platform fill your account number and follow the promptings if you don't have an internet banking on your on your business account just walk across to the branch next to, to you any fcmb bank then you, you you will write an application that you want a quick loan then they will check the system they will check your eligibility criteria and take whether you are qualified for the loan and how will you qualify for the loan basically you must have run your account for a period of six months with the bank but if in that case you have not been running your account with fcmb for six months or your account is already on the system for six months or you are a new to bank customer you can use your other bank statements on that business link to assess that loan and we do a calculation and check what your inflow was, your credit inflow over a period of minimum of six months to one year and give you the eligible amount you are entitled to. And that's all. And that's all you need to, to get across to the loan. Then you need to fill the offer letter and provide the supporting documentations required for a business loan without collateralization. Then, then, then that's all. Then, then you have the funds. And we have had experience um, giving out this loan to our customers. Most of them, we, we handhold them from this type of loan to normal term loan. And when, when they start this loan, they started, maybe they are just an apprentice getting freedom from their, from their bosses and they want to start out. They don't have capital, they don't have collateral, they don't even have money. But they've been running their, their accounts well, the little money they make, they start with, let's say 500,000, 200,000 Naira. And from there, they grew up and start taking formal loans because we provide advisory services along the road to and hold them, to tell them what and what, just like what we are providing here on a guidance on how to get your business legalized and get your documentations and everything you need to know about a business. Because FCMB cares about you, we care about your future, we care about how you grow from where you are to where you want to be. And that's why we always say we are always there for you. That is, you are there and we are here at the same time. FCNB, my bank, and hi. So it's personalized service that we offer across all boards, no matter even when you are a small enterprise. Most of these people that start this loan with us, we, we, we upgrade them from individual savings accounts. Maybe people you have been operating all their business on their savings account. We encourage them to open a corporate business name. From there, they go to a liability company, and they are now some of out to today. The success story has been there right from 2010, in 2013 to now. It's it's been a, a, a success story, and this is the same thing we are still saying. A lot of people don't know that these facilities are available. All what you just need to do register a business name or a limited liability company. If you don't have account with us, you have account with another person, another bank that has this that that that, that you have been running. Let us see the statement of account, then we look at it and we avail you what your turnover can carry. But the caveat is that it must be a fast moving business. You don't collect this type, of, it's a working capital loan. It's not a loan that you collect and go and buy assets. It's a loan that you need to grow your business on a daily basis. You want to take advantage of market pricing or you have a fast business that, okay, within two, three months, your, your, your money will be paid to you. So you can use this money to, to show up your capital to buy more goods into your shop and take advantage of that price and you pay back over time. And for people that are into supplies that, okay, you, you do your supplies today within 30, 25 days, they can pay you back. Then you can do more supplies to your supplier, to, to, to the company that you are supplying. So those, that, those are the things that we have provided for customers and they are real and they are available. And um, this loan is digitalized. By the time we introduce the second version to, towards the end of this, this second quarter, first quarter, we'll be able to do it on a mobile phone. That you can just take your mobile phone and have a mobile app, go to our business and mobile app and be able to request for loan. As we speak now, you can go to that business zone. 
the link to that loan is there once you have an account. If you don't have an account, open an account there. You see the link to get to how to, to assess the quick loan is already on that portal, on the, on this, on the business zone portal. Or you go to FCMB um, website, come to BBG group, business banking group. You can see what the quick loan is there. So all the information you need has been provided for. And if you need any other, the interest rates, I can see somebody is asking for the interest rate. The interest rate is market compatible because it's a, it's a, it's a, a clean lending. The interest rate is slightly higher than, than the normal conventional loan. But it's not something, it's something that we have trusted, tested over time and it's compatible with what is obtainable in the market. And the tenor ranges between 30, 60, and 180 days. So you can have it for half a year, you can have it for three months, you can have it for 60 days, you can have it for 30 days. So that's the tenor of the facility. And if your business circles out on time, you can collect it immediately, you pay down one, you can start immediately. It doesn't take, you call it quick loan, it doesn't take more than 72 hours for you to assess the facility once you have been qualified on the system with all the and whatever your pre-qualification is, if you don't have account with us for six months, which is the major one that people complain about, if you have account with another bank for over six months, you can let us see the statement and we can waive that one for you and you'll be able to assess the facility. The only thing is that we want you to, we are only lend to people that have tried at least six months on their business before we bring in our money to it. So I can now, how can I get the loan? I talked. I said the rate is is compatible with what is obtainable in the market, is uh, slightly above the market rate. is in the range of between twenty five and twenty eight percent. Or twenty eight and twenty. Uh, about that other fixed um, management fee, advisory fee, and the cost for insurance that we do charge on it. So it's 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 just like that, and it's as easy as I've explained it. There's no hidden charges once you are a business person and you have your account with us, maintain six months. If you don't have six months with FCMB, you have six months with another bank, just open an account and let us have that your statement from another bank, then we process it and you can have the loan. There's no strings attached. Once we have been satisfied that, number one, your BVN and your credit check, it's okay. Because those are the things that, that tells us once you have a good credit check, that, that is, is that is not that you are not holding another person a bad loan and be able to assess you and qualify you based on that. If your credit check is good, then you, you don't have any problem. If you have credit check that is backed, then it's all credit that has CBN requirements, you might not be able to extend any credit to you. Well, if somebody could not meet up within the period of repayment, that's a question somebody just asked now. It happens. We do restructure loans. So FCMB do restructures when you tell us on time and let us know what and what the challenges are. We can do another restructuring for you. Just talk to, talk to your account officer. You take it to the appropriate quarters and, and, and those things will be sorted out. Uh, I think somebody's trying to ask a question. I didn't see that last question. Sorry. Said I tried to apply it. I'm trying to apply. I didn't see the question before it just flashed by. Okay, he said I tried to apply, but I am being asked to give login details. How can I move forward? Login details is basically your account number, your BVN. So if you, and if you have challenges with your IDs and with your password, that means your, your login details on your internet banking, then you can send mail to the, to the, um, to the help desk, bank help desk, then you sort out your login details parameters, then you can come back and you apply on the internet banking platform. All those ones are there, then you can initiate it there, but you can't conclude it on the internet for now until when we introduce the, the new version you can at least get to the level of your approval then you bring your documentation to the branch while, while you the loan is disbursed to you so um you can apply okay somebody say he has applied for a pos machine and has not yet you need to let that you can send the mail to sme desk 
So we follow up for you on the branch that you apply for the BOS machine, then you'll be able to, to bring it. Then we have a gender loan that is similar to, to a quick loan, but that one is a promotional loan for all our women folks. So we, we have them that, okay, it's called and is certain criteria in house before you are qualified. You must have banked with us for one year at least before you can qualify for that loan. So just to encourage our women entrepreneurs to do more with us as FCMB. Apart from the quick loan, we have other loans. We have term loan, we have overdraft. Those are just variants of disbursement. We have business loan that called working capital loan, which is a variant of it is a, is a quick loan that has no collateral. That we have one that have collaterals. And all these loans, we can still get you below market rates is from certain category of our term loans. We can get you below market rate with a collaboration with our DFID partners like DBN and BOI to bring prices and CBN to, to intervention funds to come into areas where like renewable energy, like um, intervention from basically for all virtual or business, but those ones are meant for structured loans for people that have collaterals and they can they can, can, can provide collateral. Collateral not necessarily mean legal mortgage. If you have all asset debentures, that means all your fixed assets, you can do evaluation on them and approach the bank. The bank is ready to, to look at it and take it on a case by case basis for approvals. And the interest rates will be below the market rates in terms of, because they are intervention funds. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Oluremi Agbola for that uh, wonderful insight from uh, loans. Uh, financial um, aid is something that, uh, you know, businesses, uh, you know, seek, especially at this thriving time. Uh, I want to assure you that FCMB is here to support uh, your business. Uh, you know, just reach out to us on fmehelpdex at fcmb.com or you can reach the advisory team uh, on SME advisory unit uh, at fcmb.com uh, you can see the display uh, for, for any of these uh, contacts. Uh, the business zone, FCMB business zone, uh, HTTPS uh, colon slash slash backward slash business zone dot FCMB dot com. Uh, also, SME help decks at FCMB dot com. Uh, I can assure you that uh, you have uh, support from FCMB uh, going forward. We can assure you that your business uh, grows, uh, you know, to significant uh, needs. I want to also, also assure you that uh, the FCMB uh, business team has the uh, three-month three -month banking uh, for, for new businesses. So once you free open banking. your account, you have free three-month banking, free three-month banking. So once you open your uh, business, get it registered with CAC, uh, you can see... Uh, we had the CAC uh, representative. Uh, once you have any issues with CAC, you can reach out to us. I uh, would uh, probably liaise with them uh, to get some issues sorted out. So uh, I want to thank you all for joining us uh, this wonderful day, uh, 18th uh, March uh, 2021, uh, in, in line with our advisory uh, services to our customers. Uh, we'll continue to support you tremendously. Thank you for joining us uh, today. Have a good afternoon. CMB, my bank and I.